It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, and this is 5.45 Live. Tonight, uh, we'll take a look at the fire, another one. Uh, the rails get a reboot through downtown, and the weekend's bevy of events lives up to the hype. All that and more, and remember, we do it all in 15 minutes, so hopefully you've got the time and the attention span to stick with us here in 5.45 Live. <laughs> about this is that we're trying to raise awareness for bike safety and also for driver also, safety. Cyclists know. also have to be careful of cars, so... Welcome back to this July 10th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden, and welcome to the desk. That's footage of last month's bike rally held at the Common um, in response to this year's rash of pedestrian auto accidents. Uh, yesterday, the governor announced that $2 million in federal money will go to bike and pedestrian projects. Uh, and that will move on to uh, some of our fire footage, courtesy of Mr. William Joseph Bushy. Uh, there's now a thousand dollar reward involved in the fire that broke out in an apartment in the Lawrence block off Canal Street. A scene the Brattleboro police determined to likely be arson. Moving on, uh, we'll jump into our reformer roundup here, uh, where we break down uh, the stories uh, from today and yesterday's paper. All right, here we go. A rash of recent burglaries last week has prompted Brattleboro Police to issue a warning to business owners and residents alike uh, to be vigilant. Next, Peter Welsh is going after the Small Business Association, demanding they take better care of the many small businesses who suffered crippling damages during Hurricane Irene. And finally, BCTV's highly acclaimed National Access TV win for Best Original Screenplay we got some reformer coverage as well yesterday with a piece that included an interview with summer camp actress Amelia Graff. And we've got uh, that clip for you. Uh, so you can see a little bit of her in action. Let's take a look. Reports are coming in from all over town. Citizens seem to be experiencing double vision. Sorry, I'm like, what are you doing here? Well, I'm covering the story. But I was here. Footage of BCTV 2011 summer camper Amelia Graff, star of the award-winning BCTV production Double Trouble, uh, which was uh, a film that took uh, the Best Original Teleplay in the Nation award from the Alliance for Community Media Access Centers across uh, the globe. Uh, part of a Reformer article from yesterday, part of our Reformer Roundup. Now, if you want more than just the two-sentence summary uh, of those articles, you have to pick yourself up some paper off a newsstand. That's right, the Reformer. Uh, you can also get a subscription. Uh, you can find out all about that, including a smartphone app at reformer.com. All right, and with that, uh, we'll move on in the stories here. And for that, we'll go back to my close-up. Next, Route 119 across the river was closed last week as uh, replacement rails on the train crossing uh, were put in. Uh, replacements that should pave the way for a faster locomotive transport upgrading the rails. 545 Live content specialist Maria Dominguez caught up with the crew who was flown in from Kentucky to complete the specialized construction. We've been here since last year, off and on, replacing uh, crossings and switches from up in St. Albans down here to Brattleboro. You'll be able to travel faster up and down the track. They're gonna raise the speed on it and uh, it just make it a smoother, smoother ride. Next, Create and Destroy was the name of the event as the Brattleboro Museum and Art Center exhibit artist Gabriella Senza painted over her elaborate drawing, which was uh, adorning the museum wall as part of their Bridging Earth and Sky exhibit. Again, content specialist Maria Dominguez was at the dramatic event, which in addition to the erasing of art, included the artist providing her own soundtrack with a cello performance to match the mood. Let's take a look. It was kind of sad. It was, uh, you know, there are a few moments when I came out during the performance and I was looking at the piece and really aware of the fact that this is the last time I'm going to see it uh, as it was. All right, and before we head out for the day, we'll break down a few more clips from the weekend. 
Last week marked a year since the dining institution The Marina burned to the ground. Now the restaurant is back. Square foot doubled in celebrating their return. Again, Joe Bushy was uh, on the scene there as he is uh, with just about anything Marina uh, to gather uh, footage of the celebration. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, this isn't nearly over, but... Moving on, the multi-million dollar West River Park project is officially moving from phase one to phase two, prompting a ceremony held at the park's Route 30 location to thank organizers and donors and display the beginning stages of the project. Uh, this is an exciting time for the department. We have completed phase one. The grass is growing, as you can see. It looks beautiful. Um, and we couldn't do it if, if we didn't have the donors and pledges that we had Footage again from one Joe Bushy out at the West River Park on Route 30 as they uh, get ready to launch into the second phase of that multi-million dollar project. We'll uh, throw out a few notes before we wrap, uh, including uh, coming up Thursday, Toastmasters meetings, Adult Summer Soccer Clinic in Southern Vermont. Scrabble got a little something in there for everybody. Uh, Scrabble Club. All on Thursday night, info on ibrattleboro.com's master calendar at ibrattleboro.com. And BCTV viewers catch the fabulous new series from the Brattleboro Retreat with their debut program on adolescent depression and mood disorders. That shows right here on Channel 8 at 8. All right, that's a full lid for me, everybody. Thanks in particular to content specialist Maria Dominguez, who provided quite a lot of the footage we saw today. Of course, my often co-captain Joe Bushy, who's been racing around with a camera as well. All you viewers out there that make 545 Live just a little bit worth producing uh, if you tune in. And uh, everybody else at BCTV that holds my hand through this difficult process of putting a show together. Night, everybody.